areas overlooking the atrium of the Brown Palace where we have someone at the Baby Grand entertaining us here in late tea time. We are on our Thursday leg of our extravaganza here as we are heading over Loveland Pass with the Eisenhower Tunnel about a thousand or two feet below us where we would normally be going and where we will go home tonight but decided with the 60 degree weather that we would take a little adventure side trip over Wait, Loveland Pass so we could get the full effect of ski country here. Can I, are we going to stop we, a minute? Yes, we are going to stop, Joan. Not here. We're going to stop up at the pass. Oh, okay. Well, this is fine, too. Mm -hmm. I want to take a panoramic picture. I got it. We have an oil tanker or something coming up below us. I'm okay. It's not allowed to go into the tunnel. So he's making his slow progress. Up here, we are about 12. Thousand feet at this you point. Probably don't have it open, but that'd be quite a ski, ski yump. There's another one, Dave. Where? That's good. Go ahead. We took some snapshots, so we had to get a little video here with the Eisenhower Tunnel down below. We have sighted skiers across the other side of Loveland Pass at the very peak with no tracks in the snow, a virgin trail. We are at Arapahoe. This is Arapahoe Basin. Did you get your film in? Pardon? Did you get your film in? I did. Oh, doesn't that look fun? Has it already advanced and yep. everything? Oh, it's so easy. And I know the symbol to know when it's exposed partially. We are now passing Keystone, approximately five minutes from the last area. So we have another major ski resort here, the Arapahoe Basin. With uh, a lot of runs here. Oh, we got a steep one over there. A guy coming down from the top now. Oh. We are just passing by Copper Mountain, another major ski area as I zoom in here and we get the skiers coming down the hill. And we are heading to Vail Pass. And the next ski resort of Vail before going to Breckenridge. We have another run up here. Oh, look at the skiers coming down there. Oh, it looks like fun. We've never done that ever. No. Ever, ever. That is too good. Oh, does it look like fun? I wish we had. We kind of like cross Lots of runs. That's what I said. I Lots think of I'd runs. Better. I could still learn that at my age. We are just coming into Vail. Very upscale and very national, nationally, internationally known property and ski resort. Hundreds of timeshares. With a very European flavor here in Vail. The architecture is much more alpine, European. There are some of the veil runs. Wow, look at way to the top. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, they're like hands everywhere. Beautiful day. It's 45 degrees up here, which means it's got to be over 60 down in Denver. Pulled Hi, off Dad. into the hill Hi, with like the that. hills just above, and you can see the German or the European kind of decor. Gorgeous view. We have a Vale Village shopping mall, 
That's what I think is kind of unique. I don't know where it would be. But any place for our skiing is kind of off. This is just right on the interstate. That's so unique. That's so unique. That's so unique. That was in the country. Even that Leavenworth in Washington that you had to drive like 20 miles off the interstate to find that town. We are now out of the car at Breckenridge, looking at the River Mountain Lodge, where we choose, if we ever stay here overnight, to what stay in the apartments by our car? along the trout stream. There they are. They're coming across the covered bridge yeah, over the stream at Breckenridge as they head down Main Street to do a little sightseeing. As we walk the streets of Breckenridge after the end of a ski day with all the ski people. There goes the ski people now. <laughs> the ski people coming off the slopes and coming down into town. We're heading for the Horseshoe Restaurant where we'll have a little coffee and Spirits. repartee. Spirits. Yeah. You see if it suits you and we'll check the menu. Don't you think that's pretty good? Got a few ski racks on top of those cars. Just stumbled in here to the old saloon where, where Miss Kitty is sitting there with Matt and Chester. Did, did you uh, get the narration here? We're into the saloon where Miss Kitty is sitting with Matt and Chester. <laughs> no, I'm Chester. Now we're going to have a fight over who's Matt and who's Chester. Chester. Okay. We have a little touch of the west here on the walls. Chester is the guy on the right. See him up there? <laughs> Chester's the one with the big antlers. Chester is right up there. The big guy. That's Matt. Where's Joe? We are just before sunset entering the Eisenhower.